everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. Today I am here with my Play by Sephora unboxing for April. I love it. It's my only subscription service right now. It is Step It Up. In the inside here is a little bag with pink drawstrings and this says the best things in life are me. And she's got a little crown on. She looks like when the Wendy's girl. The best things in life really are me so I'm fine with that. And I'm going to go in and pull something out for you guys. First thing is our, uh, I think I've had this before. This is the Miu Miu perfume in Le You Bleu. Maybe I haven't had this one. But this one's in blue something. I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan of the last Miu Miu one that I got. But I didn't hate it. So we will give this one a try and see. No notes for what that might be. So let me look in here and I'll tell you a little bit more about the Miu Miu. It is a fresh floral fragrance with lily of the valley, notes of honeysuckle, and springtime vibes. I don't usually go for super floral, florally scents. I prefer citrusy scents. So we'll have to see how that goes. Next up is a... Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil. So this is an eye crayon in M10. And this one is just black. So um, I'm fine with that, but I'm not like super overjoyed about it. Black liners are something that I have a ton of and I have them way more affordably and Makeup Forever is not a cruelty free brand. So it's not one that I purchase from. So I may just give this away to somebody because I have other brands that I need to get through still. Whatever this is, is big and it's heavy. This is the Purity Made Simple Philosophy Cleanser. I do have a full size of this that I received as a gift. So I already have this. I will probably just gift this to somebody since I already have a full size that I need to get through and it's already something I don't super support. So far, nothing that I like. This is the Sephora brand Super something. Waterproof eye makeup remover. Now Sephora brand is not cruelty free because they sell in China. I don't know if they would be cruelty free otherwise, honestly, but this is always nice to have, especially in a travel makeup bag. Hopefully it seals up really well. I will use this. I like those kind of like suspended eye makeup removers. Next up, I picked up the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. This is 72 hours of hydration for all skin types. I do have Peter Thomas Roth um, products. I have a couple of moisturizers. I have their PM Retinol Serum, which I really, really like. So I will give this one a try and see what I think about it. And then last up in this month's bag is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Wah, wah, wah. These come in everything and I have like seven of them like I have a ton of these I've used them before I do go through them I don't mind it I actually like this primer it's just everywhere it's not really a special product to get in this bag when you can get these literally all the time none of these are actually cruelty free none of them this month and a black eyeliner is not all that exciting for spring you could have done a bright color and made this like a really exciting box but a black eyeliner a primer a cleanser an eye makeup remover and a hydrator like a, and a lotion it's just not that exciting of a bag honestly i'm not impressed if that was my first bag i'd be really bummed because that's really lame it's just not a great bag for me. I'm gonna put that to the side, probably never look at it again and just not be impressed. Yeah, not the month for me. April's uh, Play by Sephora was super lackluster and uninspired and boring, frankly. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>